you're probably doing it wrong. Here's how to fix it. If you spent any time in the fitness world over the last decade, you've probably heard the term HIT. You may have even participated in HIT classes, HIT boot camps, or used HIT as part of your workout. At least, that's what many people in the fitness world will tell you. The truth is that the vast majority of people watching this video will have not performed HIT properly in their lives. This video will teach you what HIT really is, how it works, how to do it properly, and why it may not even matter that you've never done it properly. What is HIT? HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. There are many different forms of HIT, but they all boil down to exercising at a high intensity for a short period of time with very short rest periods in between. An example of HIT protocols would be Tabata training, which looks something like this. Exercise at max intensity for 20 seconds. Rest for 10 seconds. Repeat it eight times for a total of four minutes. As you can see, the total time spent exercising is just 160 seconds, but you are training at maximum intensity. HIT is often thought of as a new form of training, and in some ways it is, but HIT can trace its roots back to the 1970s when famed middle distance runner Sebastian Coe used methods developed by German athletics coach Waldmar Gröschler and Swedish psychologist Per Olof Astrand to create a unique training program. Coe would run 200 meters at a high intensity, then rest for 30 seconds before repeating the 200 meter run. In the 1990s, Izumi Tabata created the Tabata regime and we looked at that earlier, and there have been several newer forms of HIT protocols in the 21st century. One of the most famous modern HIT protocols was popularized by BBC presenter and former doctor Michael Mosley. He followed an adoption of the Voleron regime where you perform 3 by 20 seconds all out sprints within a 10 minute gentle bike ride. Before we continue, a lot of research and editing goes into making a video like this for the channel, for the YouTube algorithm, for the people searching for this kind of content, do me the massive favor and hit the video with a gentle thumbs up, be subscribed if you're new, and hit the notification bell so you're informed whenever the latest video comes out. But let's get back to the video. Five benefits of HIT. Now that we know what HIT is, we can take a look at the reasons why people like it so much. Here are five benefits of high intensity interval training. Number one, HIT is amazing at burning body fat. For such a short exercise regime, HIT sessions burn an inordered amount of body fat. A study in 2021 found that very short HIT sessions led to significant body fat reductions. Not only can HIT burn a lot of calories during the actual workout, but thanks to something called the afterburn effect, your metabolic rate will be raised for hours afterwards, leading to you to burn more calories. It should be noted that the afterburn effect is often overstated by fitness professionals and that your body does tend to reduce activity in the hours after an intense workout to compensate. If you find yourself slumped on the couch for three hours after your hit session, then you probably aren't burning hundreds of extra calories. But even so, the evidence clearly states that high intensity interval training can burn more calories, raise your metabolism for several hours and lead to significant fat loss over time. Benefit number two, HIT can improve cardiovascular fitness. Again, due to the short nature of HIT workouts, you may be surprised to hear that HIT can improve your cardiovascular fitness, but it's all about targeting your VO2 max by pushing your body to its limits. You shouldn't be able to have any conversation. This is what it should sound like when you are at your 80 to 100% VO2 max. My heart rate at 153. And at this point, you should be just walking at a steady pace. It should be painful to talk. A well-known study in 2017, the Journal of Sports and Exercise Science found that HIT can improve both your aerobic and anaerobic systems. This means that you can use HIT to improve your cardio system for different sports and athletic events, or you can just use it to improve your health. Speaking of which, benefit number three, HIT can improve your health. HIT can improve your health in a number of ways. It can improve your respiratory system by increasing the amount of oxygen that you can consume. It can also improve your heart health, lower your blood pressure if you suffer from high blood pressure, and improve your metabolic health by reducing the risk of obesity, diabetes, and hypertension. Benefit number four, 
It has better adherence among other participants. One of the biggest issues that the fitness world faces is the fact that most people give up on an exercise within six months. There are many reasons for this, but two of the biggest are that the exercise takes up too much time and that people find it boring. High intensity interval training helps to prevent these issues from affecting the participants adherence. This is because the sessions are so short. Most workouts are only 10 minutes in duration. Some are even shorter than that. This makes it easier for people to fit hit into the schedules and it makes it harder to become bored by the workouts because they are so quick. Benefit number five, HIT can help to increase muscle mass. Most of HIT movements involves cardio exercise such as running, cycling, or plyometric movements such as jumping, hopping, lunging, and skipping. So it seems crazy to think that HIT can help to increase muscle mass, but there's a lot of evidence that HIT can help to increase the muscle mass in beginners and people who haven't performed resistance training in a long time. Obviously, a bodybuilder is not going to see any gains, but a brand new gym goer? Absolutely. A 2015 study in the International Journal of Sports Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism found that obese individuals who performed HIIT sessions saw an improvement in their health, a reduction in body fat, and an increase in muscle mass and strength. Most people have never performed HIIT with all these benefits, you may be wondering why your weekly HIIT classes haven't been working for you, or why so few people that follow HIIT see any results. The reason? 99% of HIIT workouts aren't actually HIIT. Let's look at a typical HIIT class. The kind you see that the gyms all are on the internet. The class lasts for 45 minutes and it's usually aimed at the new gym goers. As we've already discussed, real HIIT sessions should only last 10 minutes. Not because people who invented them are lazy, but because that's all that the professional athletes could manage any longer and the intensity would have to drop. Think about it. How much faster does a 100 meter sprinter run than a marathon runner? much, much faster because they only have to run for 10 seconds. They aren't conserving energy. They are running as fast as they possibly can. It's the same thing with HIIT. The sessions won't work properly if you're only exercising at 60% intensity. It needs to be 90 to 100%. So a 40 minute class won't do. But even if that class was 10 minutes and they followed the protocols exactly, most people would still not be able to reap the benefits of a HIIT class. This is because the vast majority of new gym goers and a big chunk of the experienced gym goers aren't fit enough to train at that intensity. Many aren't strong enough and a large number of people aren't mobile enough. What ends up happening is that people exercise for the correct time periods, 20 to 30 seconds, but at medium or even low intensity, trying to conserve energy because they know that there's still 35 minutes left of the class or because their shoulders hurt or their hamstrings feel tight. You get the idea. It's the equivalent of giving an eight year old a book on quantum mechanics to read. I see this all the time with my clients before I worked with them. Jim, for example, was doing one hour of cardio minimum a day, a ton of high intensity interval training. And he told me, Mike, I'm ready to give up on my transformation if it doesn't happen with you. The problem is there's so much information out there. Jim didn't know who to trust or who to listen to. At the time, Jim was 59 years old and thought it was impossible for him to see results because of his age. And in combination, with his dedication and hard work and my knowledge in health sciences, Jim got in the best shape of his life in 16 weeks. If you are 35 years old and above a busy professional like Jim, a success minded individual, you want to be at high peak performance in your career and in your personal life. You feel because of your past experiences and your age that's holding you back from achieving a successful transformation, then fill out the form and book a call with me in the description down below. I'm ready to help you with your transformation. Medium intensity interval training. Let's go back to Sebastian Coe. Let's go back to Sebastian Coe, running those 200 meter runs back in the 1970s. There isn't too much information on the specifics of his training sessions, but it makes sense that he wouldn't be training at a maximum intensity. 200 meter sprints are hard to repeat if you have to put in 90% effort in the first one. No. Co would have been training at a lower intensity, something that is known as medium intensity training, something called moderate intensity interval training. This is where you're training 55 to 75% instead of that 85 to 95%. This form of training is much more realistic for the regular gym core and many non-athletes who participated in a 50 minute hit session is likely to be training at around 55 to 75% intensity rather than the 90% at least after the first five minutes or so. 
Is medium intensity interval training as effective as HIIT? No, studies have repeatedly shown that HIIT to be more effective, but it is a great start. A new gym goer can use MIT to improve their fitness and strength and mobility. It's the perfect introduction to real HIIT and it's also safer. There is a lower injury risk and a lower risk of passing out in the middle of your class. How to properly use HIIT. If you're fit enough to perform HIIT without risking injury or training at a lower intensity than you intend, then HIIT is a fantastic form of training. Here is how to properly do it. Number one, you will need a really good stopwatch or a timer. You don't want to be counting in your head or guessing. Two, pick an exercise that is suitable for HIIT. Bodyweight exercises are great as they are traditional cardio exercises. Barbell deadlifts are not suitable, though you would be amazed at how many so-called HIIT sessions involve them. Number three, you will want to perform a proper warm up beforehand, at least five minutes of progressive cardio. A cool down is also a good idea, but not quite important. Number four, choose your HIIT protocol. Tabata is a great option for bodyweight exercises or the Vala regime is great for traditional cardiovascular exercise such as running or cycling. Five, use a heart rate monitor to gauge your intensity. Use your VO2 max, 220 minus your age. You want to be training at 85 to 95% of your VO2 max. Don't try to extend the session, just stick to the protocol exactly. The longer the session lasts, the less intense your workouts will be. Awesome, should you use HIT? My general answer for the general athlete is start off with walking. And once you're in better health and fitness, then maybe go jogging. And after that, once you felt that jogging has become easy or it's starting to get boring, then you can move your way up to HIT. Otherwise, some other alternatives you can do to be able to work your way up to HIT is, first of all, circuit training, plyometrics, yoga, Pilates, being able to go for a walk or a jog, and even resistance training. If you're in a hurry, you're a busy professional, circuit training is amazing. But I'll leave the video here. Let me know in the comments, what have you been doing? Have you been doing HIT right or wrong? I appreciate the honest answers. And with all the comments, if you leave the video the gentle thumbs up and you're subscribed, that will enter you into the giveaway of $100 of Gymshark, HP Labs, or Alpha Lead. I'll be picking two people in the comments below, but I'll leave the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy, Dr. Mike. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.